What's up guys? Welcome to Talk TV for another episode of Gear Chronicles. So today we're going to talk about my workhorse, the ESP LTD AX260. Without wasting any time, let's just see how it sounds. So before we start getting into the details of the guitar, one sad thing which I would like to say is the fact that this is an out of production guitar. You know, most technically when you think about it, most of the guitars which I own now are currently out of production. Sad, but then it happens. I have this guitar with me from I think the past seven years or so, and trust me, it's taken quite a beating along the years. And this has been my primary guitar, I think, like all the way through, like even till date. This is one of the best guitars which I use for all my recordings. And it stayed sturdy enough through the whole thing, you know. And even after so much of usage, there's only a slight bit of like, you know, freck there, but not too much to worry about. So coming to the specs, um, you will have them listed down right now. I got this guitar on sale for somewhere around twenty-three thousand, and that was quite the bargain at the time because it was initially priced somewhere around the thirty-two mark. And Futaro's was just having like a really weird sale at the moment, and I ended up getting this. So, as you guys could read on the spec sheet, the main standout of this guitar is the through neck construction. You know, this is one of these things which you don't find a lot these days, and not only does it help with like you know the easy access to the higher frets, but also the fact that the sustain remains insanely high because the your construction of a neck through is the factor that you have the same piece of wood which is your neck completely going down all the way to the end of the body so this coupled with like you know a through body tom bridge kind of gives you an incredibly awesome sustain coming to the neck of the guitar um i always kind of feel that esps kind of have this really good balance when it comes to having like the girth which is needed for a really good tone and the thinness which is kind of enough to give any kind of flavorability like you know whether you want to shred on anything or you want to kind of have some bluesy licks so you know good going yes we coming to the modifications which i've done for this guitar it's nearly stock other than the factor of the pickups not that there's anything wrong with the stock pickups what you get i kind of at the moment have whatever i got with this guitar hosted on one of my other guitars i wanted something which kind of would get me through all the different stages you know like maybe practice maybe studio sessions maybe live gigs it kind of has to endure everything and give the right sound what is needed so this is where my whole love relationship with the simo duncan blackouts kind of started because back in the day i wasn't all that really like you know informed about tones and stuff like that but from what i could hear 
I felt the blackouts kind of had this perfect balance between the attack what is needed for most of your leads and also that kind of passive feel even though that it's an active like you know it doesn't sound too weird out i mean like see when whenever you play a chord per se like it doesn't saturate out like you know a lot of actives kind of have this problem wherein it kind of just sounds you overly compressed but the Simo Duncans don't it's not only the blackouts but it's the blackout AHB 3s which is the Mick Thompson edition so this is his signature pickups it kind of gives you that really brutal tone what is kind of needed and yet kind of is a bit laid back when compared to a lot of others the only other change on this guitar is the factor of these two stripes this is not painted on or anything like that this is just vinyl stickers you know you can just go to any of your car dealers or any of your small shops which actually deal with stickering and for probably like 10 rupees they'll get you these stripes and you can put them on this was actually the first guitar which i kind of tried out this pattern with and you know over the course of the years i think this has kind of become my signature right now because my whole collection tends to have these honestly i don't think there is anything which is to complain on this whole guitar i mean the build construction is insanely good the playability is awesome and it's kind of lasted over seven years so if i do have to nitpick certain things it's a few factors like you know uh one is a factor that i'm not very happy with the esp tuners what are there because initially they give you like really good life but then after probably around half a decade they kind of tend to get a bit more harder and that is the case what has happened to me on my third string which i kind of have to struggle a bit to like you know kind of get it into tune and the second thing is the fact that ESP can kind of afford to like you know give probably like a graphite you know nut because most of the ones even you know in this range would kind of come with plastic nuts it's a shame that ESP doesn't kind of produce this 250 to 60 series of guitars anymore because they give you that value for money so ESP if you're hearing this by any chance please bring these back if you guys happen to kind of come across this anywhere new or in the used market trust me on it just go for it it'll be the biggest investment that you can do for your musical career and something which is going to last you forever so yeah that was what it was about my guitar if you guys have any questions for me just hit me up down below or you can ask me on my other social media links i think it'll just appear somewhere randomly here and if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it among all your friends you know or if somebody who might want to know a good guitar which you can get in the used market. Subscribe to our channel for more because we have a lot more of content coming through. And as always, stay metal. We are Dick Hydrated, watch Team TV. Stay metal. Stay metal. Oh my god, this is much better than what you imagined. <laughs>